All right, a chef buck here, and tonight we're gonna cook up a little bit of uh, mackerel stew we're using the canned mackerel. This is a recipe uh, we've been using this for years. We make this a couple times over the course of uh, the winter. It's a super duper flavorful, cheap dish with a lot of nutrition that goes great, you know, during the cool times of the year. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat me up a little bit of olive oil in a pot. You know, you want a good size pot you know because we'll be putting quite a few things in here but uh just a couple tablespoons you know get that going mm -hmm. all righty i think my oil's hot enough now now usually the first thing i, I throw in here is a little bit of onion because right now we're going to saw up some onion and some uh, celery but i'm going to throw in some chopped jalapenos because a lot of times you know i add red pepper flakes to this dish you know for heat uh, but since I got this jalapeno I want to use up, I'm going to use this here for heat. But you don't have to use a jalapeno. You can use any kind of pepper you want or red pepper flakes later in the dish or no heat at all. You know, this is just the way I'm going tonight. You know, like any kind of fish stew, you know, you got to be, uh, you got to be open, you know, to the possibility and use whatever the hell you got on hand. So I'm throwing my peppers in there. And I'm going to throw a little bit of onion in here. This isn't a little bit of onion. This is a lot of onion. This is like two large onions, medium to large onions. You know, follow your heart, but a lot of onion. So we'll get this in here. You can hear that sizzling, you know, because we got our oil nice and hot. And now we're going to throw in, boom. A couple of cups of celery. Now celery, super duper key for this recipe because it, it leaves a nice crunch, you know. It's not all that important flavor-wise, but you know when you're eating your stew and you get a nice little crunchy bite in there, it's nice for the contrast, as they say in the food business. So boom, all that celery is going in there with your onion. And like I said, I'm just using that jalapeno just because I have it, so you don't have to do that part. But we'll go ahead and uh, let these things saute up here for a couple of minutes. And while that's working, boom, come on over here, camera girl. We'll go ahead and get into this ugly-ass can of mackerel. Now, this is frightening, you know, for all you newbies to the canned fish world. You know, you got to be prepared. You know, it's good to watch some Freddy Krueger movies or some Michael Meyer movies. You know, something horrific to prepare you for this here. So normally I would do this in the sink. You know, I got this all set up just because for video purposes. So we're going to drain off our liquid. And then I'm going to throw the fish in here. You never know what's going to come out of here. See, look at that. Boom. Looks like I got four segments of mackerel from different kinds of fish. Sometimes, you know, you'll just have one piece. Sometimes you'll have two big old chunks from a larger salmon. One time... I got it in here and it was like a million, zillion, quintillion, billion pieces of uh, mackerel. I keep saying salmon, but I mean mackerel. But you don't know what you're going to get out of the can. This isn't too bad. It isn't exactly what I want. I'd rather if it was just a couple of big pieces. Boom. And like I said, this is all cooked up and ready to eat. You know, you could just, you could mash this up with a little bit of mayonnaise right now if you wanted to. And, you know, make like a little tuna salad. But all this is edible. All this skin, all this bone, you can use any of this stuff. And you know what? If I was making salmon cakes or something, you know, I've gotten to where I eat all that up. But since I'm making a stew, I'm going to go ahead and take these bones and, and most of this skin off of here. Because I don't like that stuff floating around in my stew, you know. You know, get this uh, spine out of here. You don't have to be manic about it. You know, you don't have to be militant. Because it's okay if you don't get it all. Because it's soft, it'll break apart in your finger, but it'll just be kind of gritty in the stew. So I'm going to try to get rid of it. You know, wipe some of this skin off of here. Get this bone out of here. And then we're going to end up with a nice bowl of uh, mackerel flesh. Flesh. Flesh de mackerel that we can use in our stew. Alrighty, let me reach over here and stir, stir my saute and stuff up here. And you can see this is a lot of celery and a lot of onion. So we're having, this is going to be a nice hearty stew. And a lot of times I'll serve this over rice. You know, we'll cook up a pot of rice and ladle this stew over. But tonight, you know, I'm not going to fool any, with any rice. You know, we're going to kind of 
cut down on our carbs and our caloric intake a little bit. So we're not going to... This is definitely hearty enough to where you don't, you don't have to serve it over rice. You can just have the stew all by itself. So let me finish up here. And you know, like I said, you might not have to fool with this many pieces. You know, you might get a can that's just got a couple of big chunks in it. You know, if you're lucky. I got semi-unlucky tonight, but this isn't as unlucky as I've been with canned mackerel. Because I'm telling you, man, it can be pretty hideous. So that's what we're leaving behind. You know, we're not wasting a whole lot of it. But this is just some gritty, bony, skinny little pieces of stuff. You know, and the juice that came in the can, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use a, a little bit of a broth. But once you got your meat, you know, the flesh we're going to use, we'll go ahead and uh, mush it up and tear it up a little bit. And now we got our fish ready for our stew. Mm -mm -mm. I almost don't want to put that in a pot. You know, I almost want to get a, a fork and spoon and just start eating this right, right as it is. What about you, camera girl? You, you want a big spoonful of this? No, thank you. Now you're going to wait? Yes, Maybe sir. Wait. All right, so we've had our onions and our celery going here. You know, getting it all nice and uh, oiled up there and softened up a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a little bit of tomato paste in there. You know, now you can put this whole can of tomato paste in here and that'd be all right. I generally don't. You know, I usually put about three quarters of the can in there because that's plenty. But if you like it more tomatoey, the more tomatoey you like it, the more you'll put in there. See, I almost put that whole can in there. Stir this around in here. I'll let it continue to saute for another minute. Alrighty, so we've had this going for about a minute. Now we're going to throw a little bit of stock in here. And you can use whatever kind of stock you want. You know, I'm just using some chicken stock. This is generally what we use, chicken or veggie stock. And uh, this is a 32 ounce container, but this isn't all stock. We had used a little bit of this before, so this is a mixture of stock and water. You know, you can use all stock or you can even use all water. You know, you can just throw in one can of broth and one can of water. You know? But about 32 ounces. So two cans or, or one of these things. Man, it takes a long time for this to come out. <laughs> <laughs> That's an unpleasant sound. So now we're going to go ahead and cover it up, you know, raise the temperature a little bit, let it come on up to a boil. Alrighty, so we've had this, uh, bubbling and cooking away for a couple of minutes so now we're going to go ahead and throw in our uh, our mackerel flesh right here looks like a lot you know this is a very hearty stew you know like I said two cans you know you could half this recipe you know and just use one can if you want you know just half everything but we always make it two cans at a time you know it usually goes pretty fast and you know, like most uh, soups and stews, you know, this stuff tastes good now, but it'll taste even better, you know, tomorrow or even the next day if it lasts that long. It usually doesn't last that long. Alrighty, so now we got it come back up to a bubble. And what we're going to do is reduce the heat down to a simmer, you know, then we'll cover it up, let it simmer away for about 10 minutes. Alrighty, so it's been almost 10 minutes. So we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at this here. Alrighty, look how thick and chunky and hunky monkey that looks. Mm. Muy fantastico. Now, if you wanted to, you know, add a little bit of salt and pepper. In fact, I'm going to throw a little bit of a little bit of pepper in here, and you could throw some uh, Cajun seasonings if you want. You know, like I said, if you didn't use a uh, fresh hot pepper. You could throw you in a little bit of red pepper flakes uh, while it's simmering away. You can add some salt if you want. You know, we put that chicken broth in here. You know, so be mindful when you before you add any salt, you know, give it a taste and make sure that you really want salt in there because that broth's got a lot of salt in it. So that's usually plenty good enough for me. Now, a key ingredient that you want to add here at the end is a little bit of lemon juice. You know, so I'm going to squeeze me 
a half a lemon in here and this is a pretty small lemon so I'm gonna go crazy and I'm gonna squeeze the other half in here as well but a little bit of lemon juice to finish it off is muy fantastico you know if you don't have the fresh you know just to use a little bit of your uh, jarred lemon and then that's it you know mackerel stew from a can and there you have a pretty cheap and easy uh, fish stew extremely hearty you know nutritious you know because mackerel is a nice oily fish you know this is this is about as cheap a good stew as you can make alrighty so it's had a couple of minutes to cool down maybe 10 minutes man look how hearty that is yeah I don't know we haven't made rice for this in a while when we've been doing it once in a blue moon we will but it's it's definitely not necessary you can have crackers or bread oh yeah we'll definitely have some saltines with that uh, but it's still pretty hot probably too hot for me ma'am but this is super simple you know not complicated at all and you could definitely season it up more if you wanted to but it's certainly no necessito that's a lot of fish in there a lot of onion celery so there you have it, man. Go ahead and give this recipe a try. Let us know what you think. Bon appetit. You know, I got a fancier fish stew. You know, if today or yesterday was payday, you know, and you feel like, you know, shelling out some bucks for a fancier fish stew, I'll put a link somewhere uh, to that recipe. But, you know, go ahead and give this stew a try. Let us know what you think. Bon appetit. You know, click all those buttons to like and subscribe and all that jazz and uh that's it you know we'll see you in the future ready camera girl oh yeah